happy video day guys so today I'm really excited because usually you guys don't see a video today but don't worry Sunday there is going to be a video but it's gonna be a special video that I think you guys want to tune into on Sunday for it might be a giveaway but anyways so today's video I'm really excited because I got this palette yesterday and I said you know what I'm gonna film my first impression on it right away because right when I opened it I was like <gasps> This could be something special. I'm really hoping it is because it just is so beautiful. So I'm talking about the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is her holiday release and guys, it's really pretty. So I did open this up already on Instagram for you guys. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's at the Glam Ranch. And I went ahead and I opened this up for you guys and I showed you guys the colors inside and it is so beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and do an eye look with this. I'm also gonna tell you guys what I'm thinking about it. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this palette because guys, there's so much to talk about. And wait until you see how beautiful the inside of this is. Just, just, just wait. <music> So let's jump into it and let's look at it. So this is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Oh my God. I think it's really pretty. I mean, the exterior packaging, I prefer over her new packaging that she's been coming out with, like the Safari Palette and the Lila Palette have been coming out with like a plastic casing. And this is kind of like going back to her large eyeshadow palettes and also a Sunset Palette that they had like this leather-esque type of casing exterior. And I really actually think this one looks a little bit more luxe. I can appreciate the plastic packaging, but I don't know. I just, I feel like if I'm spending this much money on a eyeshadow palette, I want this you know what I mean I actually really like the gold because it is kind of with the theme it's all this shiny metallic gold exterior it's really pretty and then if we jump inside guys it has this little plastic um, cover it does have the shade names on it I've always thought that this is a little bit annoying but at the same time you can rip it off if you want um, I, I'll probably just leave it on there just so I don't lose the shade names but if you don't like it you can rip it off but look at the colors inside guys oh my god the colors inside of here are spectacularly beautiful and i will tell you guys that you cannot appreciate this on camera or in photos as much as in person so if you guys can get to a sephora just to check this out in person if you're really questioning it go in person because i really think that you're going to be shocked with how beautiful this palette is you have different um variations of textures in here you've got mattes you also have some of her chroma crystals um textures you also have some metallic and glitter shades you've got a lot of them we'll go over all of what they're called when we go over the swatches the first thing that we're gonna do first is let's go over the swatches so you guys can see all these colors it's also gonna help me gauge which colors that I want to use on my eyes so let's go ahead and pull out the arm and let's get to swatching you guys see the swatches of these this palette this palette just swatched so freaking amazing and I usually don't go by swatches to say how I think a palette's gonna perform so let's go ahead and go through these swatches so the first one is called lime chrome it's a yellow green metallic then we have Python which is a light medium green creamy powder then we have sparks that's a pearl glitter area that's a vintage coral matte then we have kava which is a sheer champagne glitter aurora is a blue emerald glitter we have dijon which is a mustard matte oro which is a gold metallic log that is a deep brown matte varies which is a bronze metallic then we have brass which is a bronze gold green dual chrome we have sandstone that's a light terracotta matte Alchemist, which is a rose gold metallic. Teak, that is a vintage terracotta metallic. And Arium, which is a dusty gold metallic. So the other color that is repeated in this palette is Log. This color is also found in the Sunset palette. Let's go ahead and let's get into how I did this eye look. And I'll let you guys know what I was thinking while I was doing this. So I went ahead and I first, to start off the eye look, I jumped into this color Aria. This is such a good transitional shade. It is like the perfect like undertone for me. Like it is not so light that it almost feels like you're not putting any pigment on, but and then it's not so dark that it's like too dark. I thought it was the perfect transitional shade, especially for the colors in here. I think this matte blended amazing. I was so impressed just by using this matte. There is a little fallout that comes out in the pan, but that's okay with me. It blended amazing on my eyes. This was my first impression of the palette and I kind of was like, obsessed i was a little bit in shock i didn't think that the matte was going to be that amazing it shocked me i'm telling you it shocked me i was kind of like okay okay i'm ready for you decided to jump into this mustardy color it's called dijon perfect color it kind of looks like dijon mustard and i used that same exact color kind of going into the crease this matte blended so good too i was already on a point that i was like damn 
I know that the minis were decent, but this is not like the mini formula. This formula is different. This is really, really impressive. And using the Dijon color, wow, did it blend really good. I love the way it blended. I love the color. I love the tone. I think it's so like, different and beautiful and I love the two colors together. I was very, very excited at this point. Then I decided that I wanted to darken up the outer edge and of course I jumped into color Python. This is just one of those blues in this palette that's sticking out in your face. So I wanted to use this blue. I wanted to see if it was any good and I am extremely impressed with this blue as well. Putting it on the outer corner, I could have had issues with this. It could have been patchy. It could have been a pain to blend. This color blended amazing. This color went on my outer edge beautifully. I love the way that this color went onto the outer edge. I feel like for a blue, this blends pretty damn impeccable. Very, very, very impressed with this blue. But then I decided to go over the side of this blue with the color Dijon. So then after I did that, I decided I wanted to put something like gold and beautiful on the lid just because I wanted to try out some of these real, real, real strong, shimmery, dual chrome, like, oh my gosh, in your face metallics that she had in here. So I went ahead and I grabbed the color brass because it was really the one that kind of was like, kind of calling my attention. And I went ahead and patted brass in the center of my lid. And this was impressive as well. I didn't try using this with a brush, but usually when I see these type of metallics, I do usually use my finger, especially when I see, I don't know, it's just the, the way that I could see this one in the pan. I felt like my finger was going to be the best application. I will try in the future using it with a brush, but for me personally, I just thought the finger would work better. So I went ahead and just dipped my finger in it and patted it onto my lid. Love this color. Holy cannolis. So three times packing it on, the color was super in your face, pronounced, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Love. So then I grabbed the color Lime Chrome and put it next to this other color and oh my god This color as well was just really 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 beautiful and then just working on the lower lash line I just went ahead and I did the same kind of steps I used area first and then after I used area I had a little bit of Dijon Then after smoking out those two colors together I went ahead and tight lined Python to kind of get it like really 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 crisp line of blue and that blue looks Amazing on the lower lash line and then just grabbing back into Dijon I mixed everything together and I think that this look came out so beautiful. To finish off the look, I just added some liner and mascara. I typically don't use false lashes, and I know a lot of people typical day-to-day -day don't use false lashes, so this is the way that the eye look would look without false lashes, and I think it looks amazing. It is such a beautiful palette. I will tell you guys, like, I was gonna judge this guy really hard, and I'm gonna judge this guy really hard because of the price tag. This is a $129 palette. This is not a cheap palette. So honestly, when I wanted to purchase it, I kind of was hesitant because of the price point, and I said, well, that's just too expensive for an eyeshadow palette. I don't need something that expensive in my collection, and I know a lot of people probably feel that same way too. And if you think that this is too expensive for you, I totally agree with you. It is a very high price tag. Now, if you are somebody who is in the market for a high-end eyeshadow palette, you have the money to spend on it. You feel like collecting these type of things and you're kind of like me that you just want a really, really good eyeshadow palette. This is a very good eyeshadow palette and I have a few things that I really love about it. I don't own another Natasha Denona big eyeshadow palette. I own a few of her minis and also her five pan shadow palettes. I think they're five pan. The reason why is because I haven't really seen one that really called my attention so much that I wanted to spend the $129. I do think some of her older eyeshadow palettes, especially the ones that are like 200 something dollars, have some beautiful tones in them. And I would have gotten one of those, but I just think 200 was just way too much for me to want to spend. So I've been looking out for her $129 ones because I felt like that would be like a good, good way for me to get one of her expensive eyeshadow palettes but not have to buy like the $200 ones. <laughs> so I had been looking at them and I do think the Sunset Palette is really pretty but there's stuff about the Sunset Palette that for me personally, for an expensive eyeshadow palette, I wouldn't use all the time and when I'm thinking of an expensive, expensive eyeshadow palette like this, I want something that I can use whenever. Like I really want it to be something that's useful and I would use a lot. And like what I love about this is I really feel like Natasha Denona did that in this palette. This is the one that I was really looking at because I feel like if you look at this palette, it doesn't even do it justice on screen. Like you guys don't even know. This is so much prettier in person. Like it's so much prettier in person. But if you look at this palette, 
there is a lot of like neutral tones. If you kind of like see this side of the palette, you've got a lot of neutral tones here that you can use to create very subtle looks. But then you also have some tones in here like the blues and the mustards that can help to amplify a look and make it look a little bit more daring. So I actually really think that this is such a neutral palette. And the reason I love that is because for the price point, I kind of wanted something that I can feel like it's daring, but at the same time, it is safe. You know what I mean? Because this is something that I can wear to work. This is something that I can wear to a party. This is something I can wear to a baby shower. This is something that I can wear out at night. It's like very versatile. So that's what I really like about it. And if it would have been a little bit too unique, too cool, too out of the box, it would have been harder for me to want to spend the $129 on it because I would have felt like, I don't know if I'm gonna use it that much. This one is unique. It is different. It does have those cool shades in it, but at the same time, it's very wearable. So that's why I think that this is worth $129. Besides the fact that I think these shadows work phenomenally like, good. Like I really honestly think that these shadows work really good. And I try a lot of different eyeshadow palettes and I know a lot of people would say, well, is it worth $129? Like are these eyeshadows that good? I feel like this palette really is. I, I feel like people have said before in the past few, the past few Natasha Denona big eyeshadow palettes, I feel like people have been saying that her shadows have been slacking. I don't, th I mean, I don't know because I didn't try those, but I feel like this is a very good palette. So this has to be like the same formula as the Sunset palette that people loved because this is different. This is good. This is better than the minis. The minis don't have the same formula. Like I feel like some of the mattes in the minis do blend really well, but this is different. Like when I touched these shadows on my eyes, I automatically saw like a self blend. Like it felt like they blended themselves, which is very different, very cool. This is so worth the 129. Now, don't have the money for this or you think, oh my God, don't buy it. Like it, it, it's not like one of those things that you need to go out and spend all your money on. This shadow palette is made in Italy. It is a very high end, very luxe palette. I do think that she did not skip out on the formulas in here. I think the formulas are definitely worth the price tag. And I think the whole packaging, the whole thing, I love that it is this hard casing and it's back to this leather-esque looking packaging. I think that it looks very luxe. I love the interior. I think this is how all eyeshadow palettes should look very easy to navigate very good mirror great closure this is a great eyeshadow palette I am extremely happy with it overall what I have to tell you guys is I honestly think that this is definitely worth it I think it's a beautiful eyeshadow palette I think if you guys have the extra money and you guys were thinking of purchasing this I definitely think it's worth it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me your thumbs up leave me your comments below and I'll talk to you guys later bye mm -hmm.